Right, well, welcome to day one of the Yorkshire World's Way, middle of February, and uh, yeah, just started. And I thought there'd be a big, um, I don't know, a sculpture or something to say this is the start of the Yorkshire World's Way, 79 miles to Filey. But uh, no, <laughs> there isn't. It's just end of the A63. After you come out of the train station, end of the A63, um, turn right onto this um, trail, and then along the uh, the river bank. Trying to wait these puddles. Don't want to get my feet too wet in the first quarter mile. So yeah, um, pretty excited on this trip, been looking forward to this, really been looking forward to um, testing some oh, testing some new kit, namely um, what we've got on oh, my pack, uh, Atom 50, uh, the EP50 Plus, um, yeah very comfortable and I've got 24 pounds uh, of weighting and uh, I'm going to have to get my feet wet Del go <laughs> uh, yeah and that's the, the minimum I could I could take I've got three days of food uh, and my cooking gear and water and that weighed what do I weigh it has 3.2 kilos which is just a touch over seven, seven pound. Uh, so the rest of it, uh, winter kit, uh, seventeen pound, which I didn't think was too bad, really, uh, as a base weight. Oh, it's a bit of a bit of a chill from um, coming in off the sea there. Yeah, I wonder if I can just switch round, switch around to see that. The, uh, well, wait, let's have a look. Yeah, it's nice, is that? So it's now about what 20 past seven on uh, Tuesday on Monday morning. It's oh, nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, dear me. Thinking about I might have to put I might have to put my um, my raincoat on. Those are flipping par, oh, you idiot! You could have come to. Oh no, hang on. No, that would have cut the uh, that would have cut the start off. Yeah. Sorry, I just seen a just seen a path. Uh, come on to onto this path, but uh, you'd have cut a little bit off. Oh, we can't be having that. Yeah, so I've also got um, some light, some more lightweight gear. Uh, what was it? What did I buy? Spark, the Sea to Summit Spark 3. Uh, it's supposed to be good for minus six, so that should be alright. And um, the Tensor insulated wide uh, sleeping mat, 25 inch wide. Um, so, because I'm a side sleeper and I'm forever falling off, you know, just uh, just slipping off the uh, the edge of the mat, which is bloody annoying, especially when you slip onto it onto a, onto a cold floor. So, uh, and I've also bought brought. I don't know if you can probably see it just on the, just at the top of my um, kit there, top of the rucksack, is um, one of those uh, silver foil mats, which I'm not 100% uh, sure that they work. Uh, but going online, onto YouTube especially, because there's always some there's somebody who knows on YouTube, apparently you have to have an air gap for convection to work 
and they rely on your body heat to heat the air in the gap. But uh, there might be one or two air pockets underneath the um, sleeping mat. But apart from that, uh, mainly what it, I think what it'll help with is uh, preventing anything puncturing the sleeping bag, which would be a disaster. Uh, anyway, God, my, I'm glad I brought, brought me big gloves. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit cold, is that? Might have to rethink the, uh, might have to rethink the jacket. Anyway, my hands are getting a bit cold now, so, uh, yeah. So I'll chat later, all right? Jacket on, and, uh, yeah. For the first five miles or so, before we turn right into South Cave. Is it South Cave or then up to Milton? Uh, yeah, that's what sounds about right. And then uh, carry on up towards. Remember the next villages. Market Wheaton. Yes, going for Market Wheaton. Uh, that's right about. Is that about mile ten, mile eleven? Try and get some of their cup of tea and a sandwich. But I don't think it passes the main street, so there might be a little bit of a diversion. Uh, got that checkpoint one. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, I'm hoping tonight to stop uh, to wild camp somewhere near Goodmanham, which should be around 23 miles, 22, 23 miles, uh, which will leave me another 16 miles to uh, where would that be? For the 16th Friday thought. Uh, I didn't realise there was any. Um, Campsites open this time of year, uh, February 12th, but there are. There's the Seaways glamping and camping uh, site there in Friday Thorpe. Uh, apparently, they cater to a lot of uh, bikers. Um, Friday Thorpe, as I remember, is, is very near Garibay Hill. I've been up and down that on Well, I've been down it on the bike, I haven't been up it on the bicycle many years ago uh, so yeah just at the top of the walls there it's on the uh, that be on the when you're getting onto the plat sort of the plateau of it uh, yeah so hopefully that'll be just a 16 mile day and then that'll leave me at mile 39 that should leave me well this sign says 40 miles but I cut mine I'm sure I got it down to 76 anyway 76 or 79 it's only a few miles into it it's only about an hour's walk uh, into Filey and then I've, I've no idea what time I'll get into Filey so I haven't booked a train ticket yet because they're all you can only travel on that particular uh, train. So if I book one and I miss it, yeah, no point, uh, no point doing that, is it? Right, well it's a lovely day, no cloud cover, uh, no forecast of rain today or tomorrow, uh, and I don't think Wednesday or Thursday either. So yeah, we've done, uh, done all right this week. then hands are getting cold again this is going to be uh, yeah this is going to be on and off uh, 
for the next four days. I'm glad I brought my big gloves. I really am. Alright then, I'll chat to you in a bit. So, first unintentional detour of the route. Uh, I took the high water diversion uh, three miles in. Uh, I didn't know if it was low tide or high tide, but I thought, well, if it is low tide and I've gone the wrong way, yeah. So, uh, took the diversion, it heads you back into uh, North Ferryby and then you come up to the junction and turn left and then eventually you hit the uh, the end of uh, the motorway I uh, don't know which number, sorry uh, but it's a double route so you've got the motorway to cross and you've got a minor road to cross as well and uh, the route it's a Yorkshire Wold way, nice clear arrow in front of you but it's not uh, um, idiot proof, uh, i.e. me. <laughs> um, so there's a route down and it's, it's the cycle path and footpath. So I head downhill because I saw somebody going under the subway and I thought, ah, they built a subway under the motorway to get across the, uh, the route there. Well, they have built a subway, yeah, but it goes onto the Trans Pennine Trail. Uh, the actual route, Yorkshire Wolds Way, is um, uphill. Turn right at the first roundabout, right to the second roundabout, right again, and then down and left, and you're back on route. So, first detour of the route. Anyway, we're back on it now. And it seems to be a little bit warmer. So that's good. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm hoping there's a there'll be a cafe. Uh, well, there's Welton in about a mile, around about mile six, and um, yeah, might get a, Well, I will if there's a chance. I'll get a Bengali and a cup of tea. Yeah, second breakfast. Oh, I don't went with a Melton's. Scout campsite. Very nice. I beard myself on here now. Right, I'll film a bit more later. My hands are still cold, so uh, yeah. Right, okay. Well, so we're in Welton. Um, uh, and this is that duck pond. And I just asked a lady up the way there, is there a cafe in Welton? It's turned. Oh yes, this is. This is next to the um, next to the Memorial Hall there opposite the duck pond. Brilliant I thought. Baked sandwich, cup of tea. Well they don't tell you is that Monday and Tuesday it's bloody closed. So detour number two, waste of flipping time. So I rely on my chocolate bars and uh, yeah, least said about this place the better. Anyway, this junction, turn left and we're off. Right, that'll do. So this is uh, Ellerton. Uh, and that's all it is, just the All Saints Church there. Uh, and the house, which I'm going to assume belongs to uh, the church. Uh, yeah, I thought he looked familiar as I was coming down the hill there. I've actually uh, been this way before, and I'm hoping that um, it doesn't repeat itself. Let's chat in a minute. Um, it turns left a little bit further up. Did the original route. I think it's called the Golden Fleece Circuit. 
Um, and uh, yeah, it's quite rough the next bit. And I bet it is. Yeah, along the Dale Road. So uh, still, it's quiet enough. And we've done 11 miles in three and a half hours. So uh, it's not too bad. I still don't. I mean, two miles weather to take this raincoat off. Because it's still. Uh, the wind keeps picking up and uh, it cools me down a little bit. So, mind you, probably mid February, maybe not the time to uh, go out while camping. <laughs> anyway, let's I could do with a cup of tea. I've plenty in my bag. I just need to. Uh, time it properly I need to uh, be looking for a campsite uh, around about four o'clock because um, it's dark at sunsets at f five just gone five o'clock and by then I need to have to have had my uh, my tea so uh, yeah what's tonight's choice Meat and potato pie or sweet and chow sour chilli, one or two. Anyway, we'll crack on and uh, I'll chat to you a bit later. Oh. Why do they buy such big cars, small roads? Yeah, I've no idea. Answers in the comments below. Cheers, guys. It's amazing how close uh, you are to civilization, and then you get views like this. And you can still see the motorway that I had to cross earlier. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Well, I've given up the idea of taking my coat off. The wind's picking up again. So, I as well keep it on. Where are we at bottom of the hill? Yeah, to the right of those woods, I think. It's pretty well signposted. It's the Yorkshire Wolds Way, if ever you fancy, a, uh, if you fancy doing it. Although, uh, February, middle of February, uh, well, I'm getting soft in my old age. Probably the latter. It's just hard not knowing what to uh, what to wear. Too much, too many layers, and you sweat, uh, which chills you down. Or not enough layers, and you're shivering. So yeah. Anyway. Lap twelve twenty one sixteen. Oh, that's not too bad, considering I've just come uphill. <laughs> yeah, she's keeping me on target. There's the Garmin Connects lady. So, another 11 miles I want to do today. Uh, and that will have been, let's see, 3 hours 50 for 12 miles. So, double that, plus a tea break. Um, should be, let's see, come on, quarter past seven, quarter past ten, quarter to eleven, ten to twelve at the minute, plus another four. Yeah, if I can get there, if I can get there for half past three to four o'clock, I'd be, uh, yeah, I'd be happy with that. Uh, now I've got time to pitch my tent and uh, make my dinner. Unless, of course, there's somewhere uh, in Goodmanham. So I was watching a lad's uh, YouTube video of the same route, and I'm pretty sure come on, that um, he was able to help to sneak in behind the pub where he had his. Um, evening meal but 
Would they be serving at five at four o'clock? Doubt it. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go with option one. And uh, with the food I've got in my bag. So uh, yeah, that should be all right. Right. So I think it's going to get a bit, a little bit muddy down there. Uh, I've avoided most of it, although there have been some uh, forestry paths where they're just churning it up with the wagons. But this looks a bit, uh, this looks a bit tasty on the left. So I'm going to put my camera away. Right, I'll see you guys soon. Now then, any prizes for who wrote this? Sifted bands, her shadows of the hungry, her mouth to springs, let's speak in tongues of thirst. Uh, no. Author unknown, you'll have to Google that. <laughs> I'm going to crack on because I don't know how much time um, I've got. Yeah, still cold. <sighs> but uh, got up to mile 14 or so. So, uh, and these woods are the little walled plantation very nice yeah I'm trying to uh, practice my breathing whilst going uphill as well because that's been suffering of late uh, it's not, there's nothing, there's no horse, there's no coughing or wheezing, but it's just, it's very, very laboured, uh, laboured, and uh, very short breaths, so I'm trying to take a deep breath and hold it, and a long breath out, followed by a short breath, uh, to relax, and then Another deep breath. See if that helps. I'm all right on the flat and on the downhill, not a problem. But once I put my uh, put the system under strain, yeah, it's been getting worse lately. I used to be able to fly up hills at one time. Mind you, state the obvious now. I was younger then, so. Uh, and I would have been fitter. <laughs> uh, wow. It's a lovely day out to be in the woods. Plenty of squirrels about. <sighs> right, I'll give my lungs a rest now. Cheers, see you in a bit. Right. Touch the blue kicker tree. Oh dear, I'm so tired. Trick point. <laughs> oh dear to me. Go on, getting old. Ah, oh, they're uh, building up some energy. Yeah, that's how those. Up there. Oh dear. That was a steep one. Uh, it's quite deceptive, is this? Yorkshire Walls way because there's there's some steep hills and uh, of course if you're weighed down like me uh, yeah I didn't really want to get myself in the my shadow in the shop there but turning it round you won't be able to see anything so uh, but anyway poor photography. Can't believe those clouds are. Unless it's that they've been enhanced through these sunglasses that I'm wearing. 
Right, so I've only got another three and a half miles today into Goodmanham and uh, I have no idea where it might be the other side so it might be a few more miles but that said if it is there's less miles tomorrow which is good right well my hands are still getting cold but uh, yeah and those things are not small I don't know if that no, you, you, you're not getting the perspective there uh, without something to measure it against. But they are beasts. Yeah. Anyway, they're in the right place. No, can't stop it. Oh dear, come on. Okay, end of day one. 24.3 miles, 8 hours. Uh, 19.3 no 19 and a half minutes uh, averaging uh, there were a few hills in it today a few and a few muddy trails uh, not too much to write home about really but um, I dropped lucky on this one because I was just looking for somewhere flat I was even going considering the graveyard opposite of course you won't get any complaints from the residents but it might be a little bit disrespectful seeing a tent pitched up and the ground is it even though it's grass it's a little bit it does slope down towards the road whereas this is uh, birch bark uh, chippings so I'm hoping the um, me insulated sleeping mat will take the sting out of those and I'll be able to get a good night's sleep but um, anyway, I, I booked a tea uh, table for uh, five o'clock. So uh, yeah, can have that. I'll, I'll be in bed away at uh, by crikey, half six, seven o'clock even. Yeah, we're going for seven o'clock, and then at least I'll have twelve hours in bed, uh, and I'll have a good good day tomorrow. All right, guys, chat to you tomorrow.